All right, you guys, welcome back to another video. This is Parker Wild from Ziggy Brands, and today we are going to be going over some of the different methods of product research in Amazon FBA. One of the most common questions I get is, Parker, what should I sell on Amazon? And so today I want to give a very brief tutorial to the four different methods on how you can find a product using Viral Launch. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into the computer right now and take a look at our first method. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on Viral Launch, and this is their product discovery page. Um, and as you can see here on the top, we have product, keyword, brand, and category. And these are the four things that we're going to be going over today. I have a link in the description box below to get a really good discount on Viral Launch. You guys will have to have a product research software in order to find successful products. So obviously just click the link below to get some money off of Viral Launch. Cool. So the first thing that we need to do is go over what each tab is and we're going to do that one step at a time. So the product tab finds individual ASINs or individual products on a single page. And so honestly, this tab is actually the least effective because it doesn't give us an average of what an entire page is doing. It just finds one diamond in the rough product. But regardless, I am going to show you how to use it because it can be effective if you know what you're doing. It does just take a little bit more time. I actually prefer keyword out of all of these but brand has actually proven to be very successful as well. Okay, so first things first, ladies and gentlemen, we have to tell Viral Launch what categories we want to search in. So let's go through these really quick. And I'm just gonna go ahead and choose some really quickly. Like I said, this is a brief demonstration um, that hope will give you a good outline about Viral Launch's platform and how you actually go about finding products. So um, baby is always a good one, toys and games, sports and outdoors, pet supplies, office products, kitchen and dining, industrial and scientific, um, automotive, tools and home improvement, patio, lawn and garden, and home and kitchen. Cool. So those look real nice to start. Uh, monthly revenue, we can start with anywhere between like 8000 and 20000 you know, right when you start going over like that 20,000 mark, you're going to start collecting a lot more competition than you would like, especially as a beginning um, Amazon FBA seller. You don't want to bring in hijackers or people that will sell on top of your listing because they will steal sales from you, which you never want to have happen. So we're going to stay between the 8000 and $20,000 range with a price point of at least $15 and at max $50. And then a review count we can put in of anywhere from about 50 to 200 on average. And then, you know, if you guys wanna play around with these advanced filters, you can later on. I'm not gonna go into that in this video. If you wanna learn more about that, take a look at my course. So what we go ahead and do now is hit show products. And now it's gonna populate a bunch of different products that are doing well. Now, you guys, the very, 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 very important thing to remember right here is that all of these products that you see right here match this criteria in one way or another, okay? That does not mean, though, that the actual page that they're on, on average, or the entire niche, is doing the same. So what this means is that these could be one diamond in the rough product on an entire page, right? So that does not validate that this is a good market to get into. What you guys would have to actually do is find the actual keyword, right? So this outdoor camo ghillie suit is the keyword for this product. And then you would need to actually view on market intelligence right here with this extension. So I'm gonna actually just show you really quick what that would look like. So you guys, what I've done now is I've gone into Google Chrome and I've typed in the main keyword, camo ghillie suit and i am literally just going to click this market intelligence extension and load 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 three two one now so here we go <laughs> this actually looks pretty awesome right let's take a look at the monthly revenue you guys on average this product does 13 7 29 8 and obviously this is thousand dollars so 14 thousand 16 thousand 6 thousand 33 thousand you know, you guys can read. These numbers actually look really good, and it actually does appear 
that you guys could become a part of this niche and do decent in terms of sales. Also, the important thing to look at is the review quantity. It's all actually pretty darn low and being sold by a variety of different brands. So I hope this is actually a pretty good introduction to the product tab and how it could be used effectively. Just remember you guys, all you have to do is pick your categories, put in your criteria, you can play around with your advanced filters, take a look at the products, but the number one most important thing you could possibly do is take the keyword, the main keyword, plug it in to Amazon and then run the market intelligence extension from Viral Launch um, to actually see how the entire niche is doing. You do not care about how one product is doing, you care about how they are all doing, right? Because if they're all doing well, then that means that you, my friend, can jump in and start making bank. All right, my friends, that is the first way to find a product. Now let's transition to the second way. All right, we are back. Cool. So we just went from product to keyword. And the difference is, remember, product finds one individual product on an entire page. And keyword now is going to search out an entire niche an entire keyword on page one that is doing the criteria that you put in. And so I've already kept the categories the same. I've kept the revenue, the price, and the review count the same, but I am gonna make one small adjustment to keyword. In advanced filters, I'm actually gonna put in an estimated search volume of at least 5,000 because we wanna find products that people are actually searching for on a regular basis, right? So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we can find now after putting in that slightly different criteria. And so I like to just scroll down until something kind of catches my eyes. Um, and so this one right here actually seems really interesting, cigar accessories, right? So I'm just gonna hit view on Amazon. Um, and because I'm doing this on Safari, my Safari doesn't have the market intelligence extension. So I'm just gonna copy this link later and then put it into Google Chrome. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and copy our link. And now I'm in my Google Chrome. I'm just gonna paste in the link and let us go ahead and run our market intelligence. Okay, cool. So here's our market intelligence pulled up. As you can see, the number one individual that is ranked organically is doing $4,000, and then it goes to 27,000, 43,000, 15,000, 38,000, so on and so forth. And one question you might have just asked yourself is, how could the number one person be doing 3,000, but the number two person be doing 27,000? Well, that's because you guys have to understand that all this revenue doesn't come from one particular search term or, or keyword. Right, there are probably a numerous amount of other ways you could say cigar accessories, right? People are searching different things all day. And so a lot of this revenue could be coming from a variety of different places, which is totally fine. We just wanna validate that this is a good product for us. Um, so let's go ahead and take a closer look. So the brands look actually relatively good, right? They're all different brands. The review quantities look really good, all really low for the most part, which means that we can get social proof as well, which is awesome. So just like that, in under two minutes, I found an awesome product using the keyword tab that will be really good to sell. So if you're the lucky one watching this right now, voila, take it. Boom, that's step number two, two. Now let's jump into step number three. All right, my good friends, tab number tres, brand. Okay, cool, so this one's a little bit different. This is actually gonna search out different brands or people that are selling on Amazon and help us look to see what they're actually selling, right? Because if we can see what other successful people are selling, why don't we just reverse engineer that and do essentially close to the same thing, just better, right? So in our categories, like you guys can pick what categories you want. We can just go with like home and kitchen for now. And then it's cool, right? Growth rate, it can do none, slow, moderate, good, or insane mode. I like to do insane mode because this is like the people that just go crazy, like have crazy sales. Um, and so we can see like what products are producing those types of sales. And then success level will do top 1%. And literally like, Again, you guys feel free to play around with all this different stuff, but as like I said, this is just like a introduction to each tab and will help you get a good idea and guideline um, of what exactly to do. So we'll go ahead now just hit show brands. And then, I mean, you can go through all of these on your own time if you'd like. Um, you know, let's go with this Ambison um, and just hit uh, view full analysis. And let's like go ahead and take a look at what they're selling. Like, look, look how amazing their sales have just like 
skyrocketed crazy this year. So we can just scroll down and see um, right here at the left, like what they're selling. Okay, cool. So it looks like they're selling shower curtains, but these obviously aren't just your ordinary shower, shower curtains, right? These have graphics. So they have like the, oops, they have woodland, um, mandala, however you can say that, um, navy blue shower curtain, Asian decor, uh, you know, like what the heck is this, some llama thing? So like, obviously these people are putting in a little bit more work, right? Like they are taking the time to produce graphics, you know, via Photoshop and get them printed onto a shower curtain and then get those manufactured. But like, look how amazing this is doing for them. So sometimes you guys, you have to go the extra mile in life. You have to put forth a little bit more effort than the individual before if you want to be successful. And so this is really another great way to find product ideas. Like these people are doing 21K, 18K revenue per product. That's insane. These guys are making so much money on shower curtains. You wanna know why? Because everybody needs shower curtains, duh. And, and they're awesome. Like look how cool that is. Even I want one of these. This one is so sick. Uh, Ambisana, Ambison Mandel, Mandel, I, well, unfortunately I can't even pronounce it, but look how awesome that looks. And, and so you guys, this is just another cool way like um, to go in here and be able to view different people and what they're selling, right? These are probably sellers just like you and I. Obviously, they might have a little bit more of a business established, but who's to say that you don't already or are not going to in the future as well? So I hope this helped in showing you a little bit about the brand tab. All right, and to finish us off today, last but not least, step number four. All right. Okay, cool. So last tab is category. So this one finds subcategories within niches that are all doing well. Um, and this is actually like a very unique type of tab or, or way to search. Not a lot of people use this, um, but it's effective. So uh, kind of the same thing as brand. What we're going to do for this one is I'm literally just going to hit home and kitchen. Again, like I said in the last section, feel free to just, you know, put in whatever categories you want um, and things like that. But for this case, I'm literally just going to want to show you how easy it is to find an awesome product that's going to cash you out. Cool. So I just literally put in home and kitchen and I'm just going to show categories and then um, it just shows you subcategories, right? So furniture within home and kitchen, candle lamps within home and kitchen, stool covers within home and kitchen. Let's take a look at some stool covers, guys. View full analysis. Cool. So let's go ahead and scroll down and take a look at some stool covers. Cool. So all of these are waterproof bar stool cover anti-slip round seat covers. Literally like the easiest things in the world. You could probably manufacture these in China for literally nothing. Um, and just like take a look at this monthly revenue. This is just dumb for like the most ridiculous product. Stool covers. Are you kidding me? They again, like they probably cost nothing to make. I bet their margins are just are just literally like insane. Um, and so, I mean, 25K, 24K, 24K. And so you guys literally like, it's so easy. I mean, I'll do another one just because this was like so quick. And so we'll just take a look at a different, um, a different category really quick. Let's do uh, office products and let's go ahead and show categories. Okay, so like index dividers, let's take a look at some index dividers, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and scroll down. Okay, cool. So, I mean, 13K, 11K, 7K. Uh, you know, these are just index um, index dividers, right? Let's go back. Um, you know, like a pad folio. I don't know. Let's take a look. You know, you guys, I think the most important thing um, that I could possibly tell you guys is just do your due diligence, right? Like, look at this. This is actually awesome. A pad folio portfolio binder. Like, look how much revenue these guys are making. It's literally insane. And so this is an awesome way to use the category, um, the category section to really be able to uh, find awesome products. And you guys, Viral Launch is so amazing. Seriously though, like if you're gonna get into Amazon FBA or if you already have, Take a look at Viral Launch. I have a I have a link right below this in the description that will give you a really good coupon slash discount off on Viral Launch, and so you guys can start using all of this today. 
And you guys, I really hope that this video actually showed you how easy it is to find products, right? I think people complicate it so many times, right? Especially for beginners trying to get into Amazon FBA. It's so easy, right? Like we have software, amazing software that will go out and do all of the research for us. And then we just have to do a little bit of due diligence. And so the sky is the limit. Try and launch multiple different products, right? If you just keep scaling one product, you won't make as much as if you can launch of multiple different products on Amazon. So try and find a few different products as you go through this that you can use. And I hope this helped you guys. And you guys, that is literally just an introduction. If you guys are serious about learning more or taking your Amazon FBA business to the next level, or perhaps even just starting an Amazon FBA business, I want you to hit subscribe right now because I'm always coming out with new content that is so beneficial and has helped so many people start successful Amazon FBA businesses. Also, for those of you who are interested in winning my free Amazon FBA course, I want you to go ahead and share this video on Facebook. Add me on Instagram and download my free cheat sheet and mini course so that you can start learning more today. You guys are the best and I hope that what I'm offering you really does help. And I can't wait for you guys to see my next video that is coming out here soon. So stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed so that you know when it comes out. See you guys on the next one.